Hey there, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Ready to elevate your smoking game? Good, because today we're using the Masterbill Electric Smoker to create the juiciest, most tender, whole smoked chicken you've ever tasted. Whether you're a seasoned pit master or a novice, this guy will help you achieve chicken perfection. In this video, I'll walk you through every step of the process like selecting the right chicken, pairing a delicious brine, creating the perfect rub, mastering temperature control, and achieving the perfect smoky flavor. And of course, I'll be sharing tips and tricks along the way. So if you're ready to get this party started, then let's go. Let's dive into the process of creating that perfect smoked chicken by starting with how to choose your chicken. For the best results, offer a whole chicken weighing between three to five pounds. Look for organic or free range chickens if possible, as they tend to have a better flavor. If you prefer, you can also use chicken parts like legs, thighs, or wings. Just keep in mind that the cooking times will vary. For most smokers and brining purposes, I found that a whole chicken weighing between 3-5 to five pounds is ideal size. This range provides the perfect balance of even cooking and flavor absorption. Speaking of brine, let's talk about the process. Before we do, I wanted to let you know that I have a whole video dedicated to smoking a whole chicken on the Pit Barrel Cooker, which is a charcoal smoker. Stay tuned until the end of this video for a link to that video. And while I have you here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Not only are you letting me know that you like this content, you're playing an integral part in helping the channel grow. Now, don't skip the brining when preparing smoked chicken. It's a key for boosting juiciness and flavor. And here's the simplest brine recipe that you will ever see. We will need one gallon of cold water and three fourths a cup of lemon pepper seasoning. Mix all the ingredients until the lemon pepper seasoning has dissolved, submerge your chicken in the brine and refrigerate for at least four hours or overnight for best results. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. After the brining process is complete, it's time to prepare your chicken for the smoke. This step helps create chicken with juicy meat and crispy skin. Carefully remove the chicken from your brine solution. Be gentle, avoid tearing the skin. My preferred method is using paper towels to pat the chicken dry. Be sure to pat both the outside and the inside of the chicken, paying extra attention to crevices like the area between the wings and the body. Let the chicken continue to air dry by letting it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. While the chicken is air drying, let's prepare the dry rub. Today, we're keeping it simple by using the same lemon pepper seasoning from our brine. It is a quick and easy option that still delivers great flavor. Those who prefer homemade rub, here's a well-balanced recipe. Two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon garlic powder, one one tablespoon onion powder, one teaspoon dried thyme, one teaspoon dried rosemary, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon salt. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly. Whether you're using the lemon pepper or this homemade blend, apply the rub generously to the chicken, making sure to get under the skin for maximum flavor. A little side note here, if you're using the homemade rub, consider incorporating it into your brine instead of the lemon pepper seasoning for a consistent flavor profile throughout the process. All right, let's move on to setting up the master bill electric smoker. Start by pre ending your smoker to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. This low and slow approach is ideal for achieving tender, juicy skin. While your smoker is heating up, let's discuss the importance of wood chips and how to select the right ones. The type of wood chips you use can significantly impact the flavor of your smoked chicken. For poultry, modern woods like apple, cherry, or pecan are excellent choices. These woods impart a subtle, sweet smoke that complements the chicken without overpowering it. Avoid stronger woods like mesquite, which can be too intense for chicken. Today, I'll be using a mix of hickory and applewood. Once you choose your wood chips, add them to the smoker's chip tray. For the master bill electric smoker, you don't need to soak the chips beforehand. Simply fill the chip tray with about a cup of wood chips. You'll need to add more chips every 30 to 45 minutes during the first few hours of smoking to maintain a consistent smoke level. Place a water pan filled with hot water or apple juice on the bottom rack of the smoker. The water pan helps maintain moisture inside the smoker. With the smoker preheated and wood chips produce the smoke, it's time to begin. Place your chicken on the middle rack for optimal heat circulation. Now the waiting game begins. Expect to smoke a whole bird for about 3-4 to four hours hours or one to two hours for parts. This is where the Master Bill electric smoker shines and it's perfect for beginners. It is a smoker that is very well insulated and maintains temperature with relative ease. You don't have to add more pellets or make sure that your propane tank is full or add more wood or charcoal. All you have to do is turn the smoker on and set your cooking temp. When it comes to monitoring the internal temperature of the chicken, consider Meat Probe, like my trusty Meter Plus Meat Probe, I have a link in the description, into the thickest part of the breast, avoiding the breastbone. Some models of the Master Bill electric smoker come with a built-in temperature probe and temperature alarm. If your smoker has one, set the alarm to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, the safe internal temperature for chicken. While the Master Bill electric smoker is designed for easy temperature maintenance, it's still wise to check periodically. So we're going to check in every hour or two to see how the bark is forming and if the seasoning is adhering to the skin. Just make sure to avoid opening the door too often to prevent temperature fluctuations, which will extend your cooking times. For extra juiciness and flavoring, consider basting your chicken hourly with a mixture of apple juice and melted butter 
use a spray bottle for even application. However, keep in mind that basting may make it harder to achieve a crispy skin. When it comes to checking for doneness, use your meat thermometer to check the internal temperature of the thickest part of the breast. Make sure that it has reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit internally. As a way of double checking your temperature reading, check the temperature in a few different spots, including the thickest part of the thigh. In addition to temperature, there are visual and textural cues to check for doneness. The juices should run clear when you cut into the chicken, and the meat should no longer be pink. The skin should be golden brown and crispy. After confirming the chicken has reached the desired internal temperature, remove it from the smoker and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Resting allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat, making it more flavorful and easier to carve. Speaking of which, it is now time to carve this baby up. When carving the chicken, I prefer to leave the legs and the wings whole, so I'll remove them first. Next, I'll take off the entire breast and then slice it into smaller sections. I may even hand shred it depending on how I'm feeling that day. For presentation, I'll leave the meat on this cutting board uh, because I have to admit, I'm a bit proud of this cutting board. I just made it the other day and I'm in love with it. Don't forget to save those bones. And there you have it. Whole chicken smoked to perfection on the Master Boil Electric Smoker. This chicken turned out incredibly juicy and tender. With meat that falls off the bone, there wasn't a single dry or rubbery piece to be found. Now it's your turn to put this knowledge into action. Fire up your Master Build, grab a chicken, and start your smoking journey. Don't forget to share your results in the comments below. I'd love to see your smoky creations. I've left some additional tips for smoking chicken in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smoking tips and tricks. And if you want more recipes for chicken, ribs, burgers, steaks, and much more, then check out the playlist at the end, which is all about charcoal grilling and smoking. For more jewel-worthy recipes, visit SmokyBeginnings.com. I left a link in the description. I've also included a link below where you can support my channel and fuel my caffeine addiction. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.